few gotchas that you should be aware of. So let's look at some of these items. Your database does need to have the full recovery model in order for this to work. Uh, the, your uh, database name should be the same on both the principal and the mirror. Now file stream which is a new feature for 2008 um, at, the, at the server and at the database level needs to be disabled so this was actually one of the problems I ran into was that it was enabled and you have to make sure that uh, this is not you know uh, working with mirroring. As far as uh, uh, another option, another item is that you cannot use the detach attach option with this. Instead, what you have to do is you have to back up uh, the database on the mirror and then uh, restore it on the uh, target server. The ports which are used for creating mirror endpoints, they need to be open and functional. And uh, the service accounts for the SQL and the agent need to have the same. Uh, should be ideally the same on both your boxes or instant instances. Um, now as far as the actual steps involving, uh, like I mentioned, you basically do a full backup on the principal and then you also do a, a log backup on the principal. Next you will uh, go ahead and do a restore. The backup on the, pr on the mirror basically using the no recovery option and then do the same thing restoring the log backup on the mirror with no recovery option. So as far as the demo today we are going to be using Northwind database which is a sample database that came with SQL Server 2000 uh, we, that we have copied over to our 2008 machine. Uh, our principal instance is cash money uh, dash PC by the way my name is cash so that's uh, that's where that comes from. Uh, and as far as the mirror instance, what I did is I created a named instance. So it's cash money dash bc slash sql 08 named. As far as the ports are concerned, we are using uh, 5022 and 5023, which is the which are the default ports. Uh, you could possibly be using different ones in your scenario. Now the service account for my instances is cash money dash pc slash cash money so uh, that is the account I am using by the way um, before we jump into uh, management studio you can uh, check your accounts under SQL Server configuration manager and so you'll see that we have the two instances that I'm running and uh, you know this is the account that I'm using and then as far as my agent I'm using the same accounts here so let me go ahead and close that uh, and then uh, here's Management Studio. Like I mentioned, I do have two instances that are running right now. Uh, and here is our database Northwind on our principal server, which is our default instance. And we are going to be basically creating a mirror on this. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, first thing you need to do is uh, copy, uh, make a full backup. So you go to Task, Backup. And I have already actually created backups, but I'm going to kind of walk you through the steps. Uh, you basically uh, pick up your location for the file, and then uh, the thing you want to make sure is that your recovery model is full and you want to do a full backup, okay? So you click OK, and that creates your full backup. After you do that, you want to come back to your principal database again and do task, backup. Now this time, instead of a uh, database, a uh, full database backup, we are going to pick a transactional log backup, okay? Which is going to copy your uh, transactions and then again you pick a different file uh, and then click OK. So I've already done that. Uh, let me actually see if I can find these files on my machine. If I go to SQL Backups, this is what I have. I have my full backup which is right there and when dot BAK and then I have the tran backup which is and when dot uh, dot tran. Okay so let me just keep this one in mind. So then what you're going to do is you're com coming back here and you are going to right click on your mirror database. You're going to go to task restore database okay 
and then you are going to browse to this location is just uh, has had enough excitement with all this uh, database mirroring in the last uh, couple days so anyway so I, I would go to C uh, let's see SQL backups and then essentially copy this file and then do the restore okay now the important thing I'm not going to do that because I'm actually going to sh show you T SQL uh, wh where I had the option but let me all right sorry about that I think I do need to pick this in order to show you those uh, options so let me just finish this part SQL backups and then let us just pick this one for kicks okay um, now wh when you do go to options the two things I want to point out here are you want to do overwrite okay and uh, you will obviously need to change this path to point to your named instance or your target instance but here's the important point instead of using restore with recovery you want to choose this option okay so you're gonna do this for the database backup and then you're gonna do the same thing for the log backup I'm actually going to go ahead and pull up a script that I have uh, created and it seemed to work so I figured uh, might might as well keep pushing my luck uh, and now I want to make sure that I'm actually running this uh, let me just copy this and we'll walk you through this real quick also I want to run this on my target server okay let me get some real space here so again you're going to go ahead and restore database from this location right we are going to be overriding the files which is uh, this is your MDF file and then also your LDF file which remembers the log file and the important point is we are doing no recovery and we're replacing okay so this is going to be your uh, restoring the database backup and then we're going to do the same thing for our log backup so let me go ahead and select this part and then just let's go ahead and execute this keep our fingers crossed we'll see if second time is a charm some of these other windows to make sure there's no conflicts but let's uh, well, let's just uh, let's finish here okay so I'm actually going to pause this video real quick I think there's a couple of connections that are open and then retry this again okay so I am back and I'm trying this again and this time it actually worked I, I think I just had a couple of uh, things open right there so if you look at the output we restore the database and then we restored the log again with no recovery now if I go back to my list here and if I refresh my databases down here you should see that the Northwind is restoring which means that basically at this point uh, the database in, is inaccessible and uh, when we enable mirroring this is going to take care of this uh, issue so let me go ahead and close uh, this window here also all right and then here's here's the part we're going to enable the mirroring you come to your principal database go down to uh, tasks and then go to mirror okay And this will basically start the wizard that's going to walk you through this uh, before we do the actual mirroring part we need to configure security so we click on that and this is the wizard that's going to walk you through this you're going to be setting up your principal mirror and witness instances in our case we are not using a witness so it says do you want to configure security and I'm going to pick no go to next okay so this is our principal server instance here's the name of it and here's the port that it's going to listen on this is default we are encrypting data